What is the minimum required depth for underground cable installations? How can you determine the correct depth? Should it be measured from the center of the conductors or conduits, or the trench bottom? Additionally, what types of conductors are approved for underground use? These are some of the common questions regarding underground conductor installations. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Codesultant channel. To ensure safety and prevent property damage, the electrical code outlines specific burial depths for underground cables. You can find these requirements in Section 300.5A of the NEC. So, let's dig into Section 300.5A to bury those questions and familiarize ourselves with the rules of our electrical code. Section 300.5A outlines the minimum cover requirements, stating that direct buried cables, conduits, or other raceways must adhere to the minimum cover depth specified in Table 300.5A. Direct buried conductors are designed to endure direct contact with soil and moisture, making them suitable for wet, dry, and damp conditions. Examples of direct buried cables recognized by the code include Underground service entrance cable, type USE, underground feeder cable, type UF, cables intended for direct burial must be clearly labeled as such. It's important not to assume that every heavily insulated wire is suitable for direct burial. Cables not rated for direct burial must be installed within conduits or raceways. Table 300.5A of the National Electrical Code specifies the minimum cover requirements for various types of underground installations for 0 to 1000 volts AC, 1500 volts DC, nominal, and burial in millimeters and inches. It details the depths at which different electrical conductors and raceways must be buried to ensure safety and compliance. Before proceeding with the depth requirement of the code let's break down the information in Table 300.5a. Table 300.5a contains five different types of wiring methods or circuits, the first type in column 1 is for direct burial cables or conductors, these cables are not installed in conduits or any raceways. Column 2 is for a cable installed in a rigid metal conduit or intermediate metal conduit. Column 3 pertains to conductors installed in electrical metallic tubing, EMT, non-metallic raceways listed for direct burial without concrete encasement, or other approved raceways. The previous code, Table 300.5a, did not specifically mention EMT, leading some to believe that EMT was not recognized for underground use. However, Section 358.10b does allow EMT for direct earth burial, provided it is protected against corrosion and deemed suitable for the conditions. Column 4 is designated for residential branch circuits rated at 120 volts or less, equipped with GFCI protection and a maximum overcurrent protection of 20 amperes. Examples of these branch circuits include bathroom receptacle outlet wirings, garages and accessory building receptacle outlet wirings, outdoor receptacle outlet wirings that are easily accessible, crawl spaces receptacle outlets wirings, at or below grade level, basement receptacle outlet wirings, except those for permanently installed fire or burglar alarm systems, kitchen receptacle outlets wirings, located on countertop surfaces, sink receptacle outlet wirings, within 6 feet of the sink, boathouses wirings, bathtub or shower stall receptacle outlet wirings, within 6 feet, laundry area receptacle outlet wirings, except for listed locking support receptacles for ceiling fixtures or fans, indoor damp and wet location receptacle outlets, in addition to these, any wirings in residential branch circuits that are rated 120 volts or less, equipped with GFCI protection and a maximum overcurrent protection of 20 amperes can be installed underground. Column 5 is circuits of irrigation and landscape lighting limited to not more than 30 volts and installed with type UF or in other identified cable of the raceway. These five different wiring methods or circuits can be used in various locations. The first type applies to any locations not specified below. The second type is for areas where the wiring is buried under concrete or an equivalent material less than 50 mm thick. The third type covers any direct burial cable that is run under a building. According to code requirements, these cables must be installed within a raceway to provide additional protection, ensuring safety and compliance. However, there are exceptions for certain types of cables that are specifically approved for direct burial, which do not require a raceway. The fourth type involves the installation of wiring beneath a concrete exterior slab. For this installation to be compliant, 
The slab must meet specific criteria. It should be at least 102 mm, 4 inches, thick and designed to withstand no vehicular traffic. Additionally, the slab must extend at least 152 mm, 6 inches, beyond the area of the underground wiring. The thickness and extension requirements are crucial for providing structural support and minimizing the risk of exposure to environmental conditions. The fifth type encompasses wiring installations located beneath streets, highways, roads, alleys, driveways, and parking lots. These areas are subject to significant traffic loads and environmental stresses, exposure to heavy loads, and potential ground movement. The sixth type is specifically tailored for wiring installations in driveways and outdoor parking areas associated with one- and two-family dwellings. This type faces fewer extreme conditions compared with the fifth type. The seventh type pertains to wiring installations in or under airport runways and their adjacent areas, where trespassing is prohibited. This type has specific safety and regulatory implications. Type 7 is specifically tailored to the unique and critical requirements of airport runways, while Type 5 addresses the challenges of urban traffic scenarios. Further, we must understand the notes below this table. Two new footnotes were added to specifically address listed low-voltage lighting systems since NEC 2017, and these are 1. Allows for a reduced burial depth for wiring associated with listed low-voltage lighting systems, provided that the installation instructions for the specific system indicate a lesser depth. 2. Specifies that for lighting installations associated with pools, spas, and fountains, a burial depth of only 6 inches is permitted when using non-metallic raceways. This applies to systems that operate at not more than 30 volts and are part of a listed low-voltage lighting system. These footnotes apply to a depth that there is a superscript for a circuit in column 5 which is for irrigation and landscape lighting limited to not more than 30 volts and installed with type UF or in other identified cable of raceway. And for the following notes. For note 1, cover shall be defined as the shortest distance in millimeters, inches, measured between a point on the top surface of any direct buried conductor, cable, conduit, or other raceway and the top surface of finished grade, concrete, or similar cover. For example, in a wiring method installed in RMC, IMC, EMT or PVC, the depth shall be measured from the top surface finish grade line, concrete of similar cover, and the top of the conduit. Another example is for direct burial cable where the measurement shall be at the top surface of the cable. Therefore, the minimum depth of the trench must be equal to the required depth of cover plus any additional depth needed to accommodate the outside diameter of the cables or raceways being installed. 2. Raceways approved for burial only where concrete encased shall require a concrete envelope not less than 50 mm 2 inches thick. This concrete envelope provides additional protection against physical damage, environmental factors, and ground movement. It ensures that the raceway is securely supported and insulated from external conditions, which is particularly important in areas subject to heavy loads or disturbances. 3. A lesser depth shall be permitted where cables and conductors rise for terminations or splices or where access is otherwise required. If conductors in direct burial cable or conductors in raceway come up to terminations or splices in boxes or equipment, the depth required cannot be maintained. This flexibility acknowledges practical installation scenarios where strict adherence to depth may not be feasible. 4. Shallowest depth for wiring methods guideline. When employing any wiring methods listed in columns 1 through 3 for circuits described in columns 4 and 5, the minimum burial depth specified for those methods is acceptable. For instance, if you're installing low-voltage landscape lighting in a residential garden operating at 12 volts and using MC cable, which is an approved direct burial type listed in column 1, the minimum burial depth is 450 mm 18 inches. If the cable is placed under a concrete exterior slab with a thickness of 102 mm 4 inches. However, since this wiring is for residential landscape lighting, you may use the shallower required cover depth of 50 mm 6 inches, specified for this type of installation. This provision simplifies the installation process by allowing for reduced burial depths based on the specific wiring method and circuit type. It recognizes that different types of wiring and applications may have varying requirements, promoting efficiency without compromising safety. 5. If solid rock prevents adherence to the cover depths specified in this table, the wiring must be installed in either a metal raceway or a non-metallic raceway approved for direct burial. These raceways should be encased in at least 50 mm 2 inches, of concrete that extends down to the rock. 
As illustrated, when installing a direct burial cable, solid rock may obstruct compliance with the minimum cover depth outlined in Table 300.5a. According to Note 5, if meeting the required cover depth is not feasible due to the presence of solid rock, the cable can be buried at a shallower depth. However, it must be placed within conduits and covered by a minimum of 50 mm of concrete that reaches down to the rock. This requirement ensures that even in challenging geological conditions, the wiring remains protected from physical damage and environmental factors. 6. Direct buried electrical metallic tubing shall comply with 358.10. Section 358.10 defines the conditions under which EMT can be safely and effectively installed, emphasizing its suitability for direct contact with the earth, applications involving concrete, and use in corrosive environments. These guidelines help ensure that electrical installations are durable, compliant with safety standards, and capable of withstanding various environmental challenges. Having reviewed the various wiring methods, locations, and key points from Table 300.5a, we can now easily identify the minimum cover depths required for each wiring method in specific installation locations. Let's start with Column 1, which addresses direct burial cables. For direct burial cables in unspecified locations, the minimum cover depth is 600 mm 24 inches. If the location has a trench cover of at least 50 mm 2 inches, the required depth is reduced to 450 mm 18 inches. There are no specific cover depth requirements for installations under buildings, but it is essential to secure the cable as per section 300.5 c. In areas with concrete at least 102 mm 4 inches, thick and no vehicular traffic and the slab must extend at least 152 mm 6 inches beyond the underground wiring area, the cover depth remains 450 mm 18 inches. For installations under streets, highways, roads, alleys, driveways, or parking lots, the minimum cover depth is 600 mm 24 inches. For wiring in driveways and outdoor parking areas connected to one and two family dwellings, the cover depth is 450 mm 18 inches, which is the same as for installations under airport runways. For cables installed in a rigid metallic conduit or intermediate conduit, as outlined in column 2, the minimum cover depth is 150 mm 6 inches, if the location is unspecified. This depth remains applicable if the location includes a trench cover of at least 50 mm 2 inches, or if installed under a building, where there are no minimum cover depth requirements. In areas with concrete at least 102 mm, 4 inches, thick and no vehicular traffic, the cover depth should be 100 mm, 4 inches. For installations under streets, highways, roads, alleys, driveways, or parking lots, requiring a cover depth of 600 mm, 24 inches. For wiring in driveways and outdoor parking areas associated with one and two family dwellings, the cover depth is 450 mm, 18 inches, the same as for installations under airport runways. For cables in electrical metallic tubing and non-metallic conduit, as described in column 3, the minimum cover depth is 450 mm, 18 inches, if the location is unspecified. If there is a trench cover of at least 50 mm, 2 inches, the required depth reduces to 300 mm, 12 inches. There are no minimum cover depth requirements for installations under buildings. In areas with concrete at least 102 mm, 4 inches, thick and no vehicular traffic, the cover depth is 100 mm, 4 inches. For installations under streets, highways, roads, alleys, driveways, or parking lots, with a required cover depth of 600 mm, 24 inches. For wiring in driveways and outdoor parking areas associated with one and two family dwellings, the cover depth is 450 mm, 18 inches, which is also the same for installations under airport runways. For residential branch circuits rated 120 volts or less with GFCI protection and a maximum overcurrent protection of 20 amperes, as detailed in column 4, the minimum cover depth is 300 mm, 12 inches, if the location is unspecified. If the location includes a trench cover of at least 50 mm, 2 inches, the required depth reduces to 150 mm, 6 inches. There are no minimum cover depth requirements for installations under buildings, but they must be in a raceway or use Type 1100 or Type 1001 cable identified for direct burial. In areas with concrete that is at least 102 mm, 4 inches, 
thick and no vehicular traffic. The cover depth should be 150 mm 6 inches for direct burial wiring. If installed in conduit, whether metallic or non-metallic, the minimum cover depth will be only 100 mm 4 inches. For installations under streets, highways, roads, alleys, driveways, or parking lots, requiring a cover depth of 600 mm 24 inches. For wiring in driveways and outdoor parking areas connected to one and two family dwellings, the cover depth is 300 mm 12 inches, while installations under airport runways require a depth of 450 mm 18 inches. In the last column, which covers circuits for controlling irrigation and landscape lighting limited to no more than 30 volts and installed with type UF or other approved cables or raceways, the minimum cover depth is 150 mm 6 inches. This is the same depth required when there is a trench cover of at least 50 mm 2 inches. Additionally, there are no minimum cover depth requirements for installations under buildings, but these must be in a raceway or use type 1100 or type 1001 cable identified for direct burial. In areas with concrete at least 102 mm 4 inches thick and where there is no vehicular traffic, the cover depth should be 150 mm 6 inches for direct burial wiring. However, if installed in conduit, whether metallic or non-metallic, the minimum cover depth is reduced to 100 mm 4 inches. For installations under streets, highways, roads, alleys, driveways, or parking lots, the slab must extend at least 152 mm 6 inches beyond the underground wiring area, with a required cover depth of 600 mm 24 inches. For wiring installations in driveways and outdoor parking areas associated with one and two family dwellings, the cover depth is 450 mm 18 inches, the same as for installations under airport runways. To summarize the cover depths in Table 300.5a, only the cover depths are specified. The actual trench depth will be the minimum cover depth plus the outside diameter of the cable or conduit. Additionally, the types of conductors installed underground must be rated for direct burial, such as type use and type UF. If type MC or MI is installed underground, it must be identified for direct burial. If a cable is not rated for direct burial, it must be installed in a metallic or non-metallic conduit. Thank you all for watching.